In this video, I'm going to be doing a full tutorial on how to build this little bush plane. So let's get right into it. All right, the first section of this plane that we're going to be building is going to be the wing section. And this comprises of a lot of those curved slopes and some plates that go directly under it. So let's get into building it. All right, now the first step is going to be we're going to need a 1x6 red plate or whatever color plate you want. I would suggest gray. You're then going to want a, I believe this is a 1x10, two 1x10s, and then a 1x8. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to set these out like this, lay them out like this. Somewhat in a straight line, don't have to be perfect, right? And then you're going to need a lot of these. These are the curved slopes. These are the 2x2, two two, I would recommend, or 2x4. I would recommend getting the 2x4 curved slopes over the 1x4 curved slopes, mostly because these will hold up better. So then what we're going to want to do is place one of them right here, leaving some room to overlap. So we're going to do that, and we're going to do that all the way down. All right, before we make too much more progress, I'm going to want to point out that you're going to want these to actually be moved back, to, uh, back a little bit. Those are the ones in the very center. All right, the next step is going to be lining plates right here. I'd recommend gray, but since I don't really have that much gray, I'm just going to use black. It doesn't matter really what color you are going to use as long as they work. So you're going to want to line these all the way down. And this is going to provide sort of the buffer for when we do the, the larger plates or the curved slopes that go on the very, very front. So after we do this, we're going to put one more one by six here, like so. And after we get that in, but then we're going to want to bring in a large amount of plates that we're going to line right here. And that's going to have a huge roll. So what we're going to do is put one right here and then put these sixes on each side. Mine have holes in them just because I'm using the Technic plates. It really doesn't matter what plates you use as long as they work. So we're going to want to line each one of these sides down. I don't really recommend you use small plates. I recommend you use large plates, but since I am limited on parts, I am using the smaller plates to the best extent that I can use them to. So after you get done lining all that, you're going to end up with something that looks a lot like this. All right, now we're going to want to flip that back over to the very top here. And you're going to want to take in a lot of these 1x3 curved slopes in gray about the same amount that you had on the top. You're going to want to put those here and you're going to want to line this entire thing with these. All right, once you're done with that, you're going to want to bring in a one by four tile and place it right here. This is where those sort of came back and you're going to want to flip it back over. What we're now going to want to do is right here, right where these are, you're going to want to bring in two more. A two by four will work or a two by two. It doesn't really matter. I'm just using two by two. You're going to place those two right there. Then we're going to want to take in I believe about five studs out. So one, two, three, four, five. You're gonna do this and place it right here. You can either use a one by three or a one by two. It doesn't matter. And these are gonna be the struts that go from the wings to the body. So the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is bring in these little things right here. It's just it's a pretty standard way of doing it. And then for the struts, you're gonna to wanna to have I'm going to use these red. They can be any color you want. Like I said, this thing can be any color you want it to be. I'm just doing red and gray because those are the colors I have. You're then going to want to stick them together on the bottom here, like so. If I'm going too fast for you, you can always pause the video. And then you're going to want to click these at the very front like that. One on each side. And then you're going to end up looking something that's going to look a lot like that. All right, this is the next chunk of the plane that we're going to be producing. All right, we're going to start off with three of these large gray plates like this. We're going to want to stack two of them on top of each other, just like so. Just sort of stick them together like that. And then stick one of them on top like this. You're going to want to stick the one with more plates on top of the one with a single plate like that. The next step you're going to want to take is take one of these. It's going to be a standard 2x4. And stick it right here. You're then going to want to take either another 1x4 or a couple 1x2s um, or 2x2s like this and just stick them right here. All right, so once that's done, you're going to want to bring in a 1x4 like this. Stick it in over here, just like so. Just like that. And then you're going to end up with something that looks a lot like this. And then you're going to want to bring in two more 1x4s, so just like this. Just bring one of them in right there. 
And this, I'm going to use two by twos on this side since I'm out of one by fours. Woohoo! And then the last thing you want to do is put another couple, one of these right here. Got to hold this in frame, sorry. And then after you get those couple in right there, it looks pretty good. You're going to want to bring in one by ones. Now, I don't have the standard one by one, so I'm just going to be using these. Courtesy of being short on parts, so you're going to want to stack these on top of each other like this. And now you're starting to build the frame of the window, and you'll start to see how this comes into play later. But yeah, this is going to just stack in like this, just like that. And then what you're going to want to start to do is put these, these are going to be um, one by two bluish tiles. These can be either tiles or plates. Since I don't have any plates on hand, I'm just going to be using tiles for now on. You're just going to stick these right here, like that. Now you're going to want to bring in another one by four, stick it right here. And then take these tiles here. And stick them right here. It's another set of two. So you're going to want to take another set of two and just stick it over here like this. Fairly simple, just like that. And then <laughs> you're going to want to bring in another, I know this is getting kind of old, another layer here. Now I'm really running short on parts, so I'm just going to have to put that there and that there like this. This is going to, you could easily just put a one by four here. I ran out of plates, so I'm trying to conserve them. And since this is in the tail, it's better off it's lighter anyway. So after you get that, that's all good. And now we're going to want to bring in one of these windscreens. Now I'm going with blue because I just think it looks interesting. And then my other planes have the blue. But you can do whatever you, color you feel like doing. And just stick that right there like that. So you can sort of see it's starting to come down into the body like this. And then to finish things off, we're going to want to bring in a plate right here. A 2 by 3 You can use whatever fits you best there. And this should be a tile, or you can have some texture back here. So I'm going to put a one by one jumper plate. And as I stated earlier in the video, if I'm going too fast for you, you can always pause to catch up. You're going to want to put a tile right here, just helps you out. Then you're going to want to bring in some cheese slopes. Now these wonderful things, you just stick them right here, one on each side. And then you're going to want to bring in some of these cheese slopes, the little one by ones on each side. Now, now, ugh, can't talk. Now we're getting to the bottom where we're going to want to flip it over and put this right here. Just like that. And after you do that, looks pretty good. You're going to want to probably put this one right here. And you're good. It appears I have made a little typo. You're actually going to want to bring this one, or two by three brick, not in the front, but in the back. Like that. Alrighty, the next bit we're going to make here, this is the tail section, so let's get into it. Alright, we're going to start this next step here off with kind of the same as last time. We're going to take two of these and stack them on top of each other, like so. And very similarly, ugh, similarly to last time, you're going to want to put another one on the bottom there, like this. Make sure they're together, nice and firm. You're then going to want to bring in a 1x4 tile and stick that 1x4 tile right here. So you end up something that looks a lot like this. And then you're going to want to bring in some more of these slopes. Now these are the cheese slopes. I am using the 1x2 cheese slopes. You can use the 1x1s. It just might take a little longer. So that's just been my head up there. So we're going to want to put four of these on each side like this. Not really matter what angle as long as they look good. Then you're going to want to take a couple of these little 2x2s here and stick them in on each side right here just like that all right then we're going to want to bring in a tile that looks a lot like this just a standard two by two gray tile like so bring it in and then we're going to want to bring in some jumpers these are the one by two jumpers with one stud in the center we're just going to bring in a couple of these right here and now we're going to set this over to the side and what we're going to start on now is the red tail assembly so we're going to want one of these and then we're going to want three of these they look like this. And we're just going to stack those on top of each other, like this. One on top of the other, until you get something that looks like this. Flatten it out to make sure it's good. And then you're simply going to just want to bring in a one by two, sit it on there. Bring in a one by one, sit it on there. You're then going to want to bring in a one by three, sit it down on there, like that. And as I break it in my hands here, you're going to want to bring in a one of these. 
and one of these. You want to overlap by one. Then you're going to want to bring in this inverted slope. It is a one by four by two inverted slope. It looks like this. Just sit it on there like that. And after you sit that down, you're going to bring in the tile on the very top. So that's how you make your tail. Then to be able to set it onto that, you're going to want to take a one by four plate and stick it at the very back here because we want our tail assembly to sort of dip down with the curvature of the tail. Ugh, so you drop it. And then you get something that looks like this. We're then going to want to bring this over here and then set the very front of it down right here like so. Stick it on the front like that. We're then going to want to bring in a couple more of these. Stick them in like that. These are the jumper plates. You can use the older ones, the newer ones, it really doesn't matter. And then we're going to want to bring in some more jumper plates on the very bottom here. Now these do hold the tail in. They hold them in pretty well, which is why they're super important. And they really do hold a great value. All right, now this next step here involves some of these and some of these. We're going to want to simply just attach these wedge plates onto these little jumpers right here as I break them off. Just wonderful. You're going to want to stick these right here on each side. And after you do that and you feel nice and accomplished, you're going to want to take two plates. They can be either color. It doesn't matter. Stick them on top of each other. And they're going to bridge this gap right here. After you do that, you're going to want to set this down over here and get that plate. You want to get two of these. These need to be in the color you want. Whatever color. I'm going with gray. Stack them like that. You're then going to put this right here directly below that and press it down. After you do that, you're going to want to take a brick like this and you're going to stick it just, you're going to stick it on one of these tiles right here. So it's going to be a one by four or a plate. doesn't matter. I don't have any more one by four, so I'm using this as that. And we're going to stick this right here. All right, this next step here is going to involve a lot of two by four plates. So we can just bring all of those in now, some down over here, put this over there. We're going to want to stack one of them up like this, just like that. And then you're going to want to stack, this is, this can be a plate, a tile, whatever. This is just going to be our makeshift plate for now since I'm out, like I said earlier. And then you're going to want to stick another one of these on like that. So it ends up looking like that. Then, <laughs> then you're going to want to bring in another one of these and this is just going to stick right on top like that. That looks all nice and dandy. We're then going to want to stick this right here. That's going to lock in like that. And once that's locked in, we get to bring in two of these bricks, one by threes, or you can just get a two by three, it doesn't matter, and stick them in like this. After you stick them in, you're going to want to bring in bricks with studs on the side for the very back here where we are creating the tail cone. And then we're going to want to use a jumper plate here to create the very tip of the tail. And then you want to use these last two plates here and lock down the bottom like that. Just like that. Alrighty, now in order to start that section, you're going to need a 2x10 plate. You're then going to need a 4x4 plate. Stick it about two studs on, like this. Just like that. Now, you're going to want to bring in some two, or not two by four, um, one by fours. Stick them on like this. So about two studs are showing out the back. And then you're going to want to bring in some 1x8s, flip this over, put the 1x8s right here on each side, just like that. The next step you're going to want to do is bring in a couple of these so they can fit right here. These are the 2x2s, two twos. They fit nicely right there. You're going to want to bring in a 2 or a 4x4, four four, another one, stick it right here at the very end. The next step is going to be to take a 2x6 and place it right here. Now you're going to want to flip this thing over and you'll get this. The one thing you're going to want to do now is take these. These are the these are modified bricks. These are more of a plate, but they're I like them. They allow you to get the studs on the side pretty easily. You want to take three of them, put one right there, put this one here facing the other way like that. And then you're going to, want to take one more and put it right there. You're then going to want to take two bricks with studs on the sides. It does not matter what color they're in as long as they're there. Take them like this. Pretty cool. Like that. No, actually, nope, you don't put them right there. You want to put a little plate right here and put them right here. Now, I am doing this real time, so if I make little mistakes, that's perfectly okay. 
and you're going to end up with like that. Now that is about where a brick would look like on a side, exactly. So that's pretty cool. The next thing you're going to want to do is take two of these 2x2 two two plates. Again, it does not matter what color you use them in. And stack them like that. You're going to want to take a 2x2 two two brick. I'm using white in this case, but as I said before, you can use any color you choose. You want to put another one right here, just like that. Right here, you're going to want to use a couple of these plates. You're just going to stick them in like that. doesn't really matter as long as it works. Take this, just like that. Then you're going to want to take another one of these plates here and stick it just right there, just like that. This is going to be a 2x4. Whatever color you choose, it doesn't really matter. The next thing you're going to want to do is take another 2x4 and place it right here right in the center, just like that. And so you end up with that. The next step you're gonna to wanna to take is to take another two by two and stick it right between those right there. All right, now after you've done that, you're gonna to wanna to flip this thing back over again. Take one of these, this is a Mixels joint, they're sorta of new. And then uh, take a ball joint that adapts to an axle at the end. You wanna stick that in just like that. So it works out pretty well, just like that. The next step is going to be to put another one of these in. This is just the one I choose to use. You can use whichever one you want, just like that. Turn it around like so. The next step is going to be put an axle. These are not an axle. This is going to be a peg with a stud on the end of it. Stick that right in there and then take your tire and stick the tire right there. And that, then <laughs> you're going to want to stick that right at the end here where it goes right here. Just like that. Last parts that we're going to do is the nose. Start off by making the propeller. These are the parts that you will need for that. You're going to want to put one of these black jumpers directly in the middle of a 1x10 plate. You're then going to want to put threes on each side of it, just like this. These are 1x3 tiles. You can also use a 1x2 tile along with a 1x1 tile. Then you're going to want to put a couple of these yellow bits at the very tips of the propeller and put your cone on. It's a pretty simple propeller design, but it works. All right, to begin the nose, we're gonna to wanna to start with one of these four by four plates. We're then gonna to wanna to take a two by four and place it right there. We're gonna to wanna to take a tile or a plate, doesn't matter which one you use, and place it right there. I'm sorry if I'm going a little fast, but my battery in the camera is gonna run out soon. So this is why I'm doing this. You're gonna to wanna to take a couple of these plates here. This can be a one by four plate or two by two plates. Does not matter which one you use. You're going to want to take another plate. It's going to be a, look like a 2x4. And then you're going to want to put another 2x4 directly on top of that. As we start to move up the chain a bit, we're going to start to notice exactly what the pattern is. You're going to want to put another plate right here. This is my sort of use of these plates. Though they're not exactly the use they should use, how they should be. This is sort of how I'm getting away with it. The next thing you're going to want to do is put a couple of these, put one of these right here, just like that. All right, now we're gonna to wanna to bring in a red plate and sit it right here, just like that. We're then gonna to wanna to bring in a couple of two by three red plates and fill in this gap here, just like that. After we fill that in, we're gonna end up with something that looks like this. We're then gonna to wanna to bring in some plates. This is just my use of a red plate, looks like this, and bring it in just like that. We're gonna to wanna to do the same thing right here. Just bring it in. And you're gonna fill in the gap like that. All right, now, as we get sort of further up, we're gonna to wanna to do the same thing right here, just like this, and then fill in like that. Sometimes when I start running out of plates, I have to start doing some pretty weird things, so that's how you get to that. And after you get to that, you're gonna to wanna to bring in, looks as if, a couple thing, things here. So you're gonna wanna bring in a two by two red brick and place it right here. And then you're gonna to wanna to bring in a one by four red brick and place it right here. You're gonna go take your windscreen. I'm just using these. It's better that you get a long and tall one like this and place it right at the top here. We're gonna want to bring in, I've already stacked these, but these are my bricks here. One by one gray bricks. I want to stick these right here on each side. After you do that, you're going to want to bring in some more parts, believe it or not. So you're gonna to want to bring in these, these are the curved pieces. These are gonna be uh, two by four, I believe, curved pieces. You're gonna put some tiles on top of them like this. 
and then bring in another one like this. After you do that, you're going to want to place this right here, right on top like that. Then you want to bring in two more of these one by ones. You're going to want to stick these one by ones on a plate that has two of these stacks. This is a one by four and a one by two. You want to stick them on like this on both sides. Then you're going to want to stick a uh, this plate here. <laughs> I'm not sure quite the name of it, but it looks like a brick with a hole in the center with a Technic pin in it. Put a plate directly on top of that and then stick that plate directly in here, just like that. After you do that, you're going to want to place this right here. You're going to leave a little gap down there so it looks a bit more realistic. It's exactly what we want. Then you're going to want to sort of look at it and expect it, inspect it, Ugh. place one of these right here. Actually, you're, no, you're not going to want to do that. You're going to want to place one of these right here. And then you're looking pretty good. So at that point, you're going to want to take another one of these plates. Stick it at the very top right here. Again, you can use a 2x4. I accidentally put that one there. You can use a 2x4, but you're going to want to use whatever you can to fit in the spot you have. Stick it in like that. And so you end up looking with something that looks a lot like that. After you're satisfied with that, you are basically done. Now all you need to do is add our propeller that goes at the very front here. And you've got the nose of a plane. Look back into it and it turns out you do not need those two plates on the very top here. The last bit that we're going to assemble is the landing gear. Okay, we're going to start our landing gear with these two wheels. You're going to want to take a Technic pin right here. It looks just like this. Stick it in there like that. You're going to want to do that with two of the wheels. Move this up so you can see it. Just like that. You're going to want to bring in these T things. I believe these are the things from the pneumatic hoses. You want to put two of those in like this so you have plenty of friction. Just like that. Then you're going to want to take this. It's going to be a plate with the two clips on the end. You're going to want to attach that directly onto this. After you get a couple of those on there, just like that, you're going to want to bring in a 1x3 tile like this and place it on each side. These are gonna be the main struts that hold up the landing gear. After you do that, you're gonna to wanna to take a couple of these gray pieces. I recommend these are the ratcheting pieces, not the frictionless ones. You're gonna to wanna to get a couple of them right here, just like that. The next step is going to be to put these plates right here like this on each one, just to make sure they don't go anywhere. Last but not least, you're gonna to wanna to put a couple of these in like this just like that, obviously, so it can have something to ratchet down onto. The next step is going to be to put these one by one plates here. This is optional, but I feel like it makes it look better. The last thing you're gonna need to do is put this thing right here, just like that. And you're done. All right, a bit of a modification here. We have our main base. We're going to want to take these two pieces here and one of these, you're going to need one of these plates. You want to put it right at the end here and then you're going to put your wheel mounting just like that. We are now going to reassemble our full plane. So we're going to get our base here, our nose, which is right here. Stick it at the very end here, just like that. Cool. Now we're going to take our doors, which we made earlier in the video, correct? We're going to want to stick one of those on each side, just like that. And once you do that, you're gonna get a fuselage looking thing, just like that. You have to zoom out a little bit here. Give, give fuselage, just like that. Now, you're gonna wanna come in with this, stick this piece right at the end here, and that's just gonna fit right in there, just like that. After you do that, you're then gonna wanna bring in this piece, and I should've put this in first, so I'm gonna take that one out and stick this one back in. This one's gonna go right here. Gonna line up directly to that plate, that brick right there, just like that. This one slots straight in there, just like that. You can start to see uh, planes coming together here. After you do that, you're gonna wanna bring in your wings, which look like this. And you're gonna wanna sorta, you might need to wiggle them in there, but you're gonna fit it in there just like that. And after you do that, you're gonna wanna make sure they click in there. Make sure they click in on this side as well. And after you do that, it's really starting to look a lot more like a plane. So the next step is going to be to put the propeller on. If it didn't fall off, mine fell off. Flip it over. You will notice that there should be a spot right here for your landing gear. 
you're going to want to put your landing gear in right here. Now, you may have put this in backwards like I did, which makes enough sense. But you're going to want to stick one in like this and stick another one in like this. And then take that plate that came with the landing gear and stick it right on, just like that. And after you do all that, you flip your plane back over and it's a plane. That's all for this video. I sure hope that you enjoyed it and be sure to subscribe to my channel and never miss a video like this. Bye for now.